when we started the foundation, one of the things that we looked to do was um, twin our work in the Caribbean. And of course, the very, very different issues. In the Caribbean, it's about, there was no league, so we put a league on. There was no project for the kids to play football. So we put a project on, there was no footballs, there was no kits. So we worked hard around stuff like that. So it's all about football, but then it's all about all the stuff around football. So all the training, nutrition, maybe being on the radio, being a commentator, and it gives a real sort of drive and focus to the young people in the area. The idea was to open their minds up to things off the pitch, um, to look at their own personal development, themselves as individuals, themselves as part of a team, uh, looking at their strengths and weaknesses, and then going forward looking at some potential career opportunities outside the game. Obviously all of them are ambitious to be professional footballers, but uh, we kind of live in the real world and we know a lot of the boys won't make it, so we want to make sure that they start thinking about careers inside the game potentially, but also outside the game. I came here today to see what other pathways there are, rather than playing football. If that does not happen for me, hopefully, then there's other pathways I can take to still be involved around the sports. Just learning from others, learning good things like motivation, skills, strength, uh, mental strength, and what, what attributes I have to have to be a footballer. Uh, so since being part of the Jason Roberts Foundation, I looked at our programs and uh, we were heavily involved with football and then just wanted to uh, give our young people uh, an alternative option uh, to the sports. Uh, uh, having spoken to a lot of them, I found out that basketball was something that a lot would be interested in uh, as, as taking part of and uh, potentially developing it into something that they attend on a regular basis and develop through other, uh, other settings. And basketball is one of those sports that it really brings the community together. So, you know, this is a community where, you know, basketball can be really used as a good tool to get everybody together, uh, to get the young people together, get them playing the sport that they love, um, and just get them in an environment where they're going to be learning not only basketball aspects, but life aspects as well. Yeah, it keeps kids off the streets, plus it keeps you healthy. And many people dream of playing in the NBA or like BBL, so if you want to, you might as well join the club. What is it like playing at the highest level in football? Uh, you have experience. You play three World Cups. No, first of all, it's a long way to get there. <laughs> uh, I think uh, in your age, you have to enjoy what you do. Uh, first, uh, go to school and then uh, enjoy the, what you're doing. After, it uh, depends on your career because uh, to get to the World Cup, uh, it's a long way. And it's step by step, understand? Everybody wants to become a football player, but not all of you will become some. But that's not a reason you will not be some good person. So if you are a good person, you succeed in life. It's good because we get like experts coming down to talk to us, like tell us about their story, how they got to the top level and stuff like that. So it's very good that they get us to come down. So we're influenced to do the best that we can to be at the top level. Uh, 
at the foundation we've been very very fortunate to engage a lot of people but I think one thing that was um, sticking out like a sore thumb was that we weren't getting the levels of engagement we would have liked um, from young ladies and this is not this is not something that's specific just to the foundation but I think it's something specific around sport. It's really important to have for them to have be able to relate to people who are, who are successful in the industry, females who are successful in the industry. Like today, they're able to hear real life, real life stories of people who are normal women who worked really hard to get to where they got to. So I think that's really important. Continue doing that. Very interesting because we got to play different, different sports. So we didn't even play it one sport. We got to play football. We played golf. We did basketball, and then in the evening we got to listen to different women in sport, um, sport share their different story with, with us and it was very inspirational. About six months ago, my own son was diagnosed with autism, mm. and uh, I, I got to know Otis Roberts from the foundation, and agreed to come out, help sponsor the trip, and uh, I did it partly for that, but also now I've got here, I've seen what value it's brought to my own son, helping him. Golfing, I've improved my social skills, I can talk to people, before I was a bit quiet, didn't know what to say, and like football, I've gotten better. Andre Patterson. I am the manager of Grenada's 2015 Homeless World Cup team. We've just completed our trials here and um, the guys are very eager, very excited about the opportunity we presented to them. So you set out to change the world. You can't change the world, but you can change the world for a person. You can change the world for a group of people. You can do something that makes someone's reality totally different to what it was before. And the foundation has allowed my family to do that.